going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Be sure to check out the affiliate here on the channel, GT Racing. They sell gaming chairs and office chairs. All their information is linked down in the description. Today I'm going to show you three classes for the MP7, kind of give you a class setup video for the MP7. These first two classes are more of a kind of mid-range style setup for the MP7. They're, you can still run and gun with them, but they're the best, in my, in my opinion, to kind of that close to mid-range kind of idea. The first class we're going to look at is, of course, this is kind of my TDM ghost class. If I want to stay kind of close to people, but back a little bit at the same time, of course, all of this stuff here is all up to preference. Tactical always runs stem. Lethal always runs stem, uh, Simtech. It's always EOD ghost and tune up or EOD ghost and tracker for me when I play 6v6 modes. Of course, I always run the Deagle as my secondary. And this class setup is going to have the monolithic suppressor, which is going to give you sound suppression, damage range, aim, to, aim down sight speed, and aim walking steadiness cons. The FSS recon, which is damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, but aim down sight speed and movement speed cons. The forage tact ultralight sight. The reason I use this is, like I said, I'm trying to stay kind of to that medium range, and this gives you aim, walking, movement speed, which is one of the best, in my opinion, best overall stocks in the game. If you like to be able to ADS and move while you're ADS, kind of like you were in, in past COD games, you know, that same kind of speed, though any of these stocks on any of these weapons that give you that aim, walking, movement speed are the way to go. The next thing we're going to run, of course, is stippled grip tape to make up for a little bit of that ADS and sprint to fire that we're losing with all the other stuff. Of course, this gives you a, a con to the aiming stability. And last but not least, we're going to make up for that stability with the Ranger foregrip, which is recoil control, aim stability, but aim walking movement speed and aim down sight speed are a bit kind of knocked back, a little bit of a con. As you can see, if you look at the mobility very carefully, there's just a little bit of a sliver of a red line there. And that's okay. Like I said, you're not going to be able to just absolutely blaze people up close you know, with fast ADS. But this class is made to kind of be stealthy, kind of stay back at medium to somewhat close ranges and just pick enemies off. And it works very well for that. The next class I'm going to show you is pretty much the same thing, but without the suppressor. We're going to look at the FSS recon barrel, also the stippled grip tape, the ranger foregrip, and the forage tack ultralight. The only difference in this, of course, I dropped the monolithic suppressor for the 50 round mag. If you do not like the 50 round mag, you could always go with... Uh, slide of hand that will give you a bit more mobility of course if you go with the 50 round mag you're going to have a little less mobility but this is also a very good class if you do not have the monolithic suppressor unlocked yet i know it's the last thing you unlock this setup right here works very well also and last but not least i'm going to show you probably one of the most versatile close quarters running guns weapons in the game i, I think the mp7 built like this can pretty much handle any other submachine gun in the game at close range Sometimes you will get beat by an MP5, but the fire rate on this weapon, and of course the way this is set up, really helps out with winning those close quarters gunfights. The first thing we're going to go with, of course, again, is the FSS Recon Barrel, which is that damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control. If you want a little bit more movement speed with this, you always could go with the FSS Strike, but as you can see there, the mobility does not change that much. Of course, you could go with the SWAT, which is going to give you aim down sight speed, but you're going to lose a lot of range. That's why I just stick with the recon barrel. The next thing we're going to look at is the tack laser. Aim down sight speed, aim, aiming stability, aim walk steadiness. Of course, the con is the laser is visible to the enemies. That is the only con. The tack laser is one of the best attachments in the game to me on any weapon pretty much because of all those three things that you gain there, you know, at the top with the pros, the aim down sight speed, the stability, and the walking steadiness are big upsides just to kind of give away a little bit of your position. And a lot of times that can work out to your advantage. If you play smart, uh, enemies will kind of come to you if they see that laser. So you can kind of just sit there and wait on them and, you know, just pick them off if you hear them coming. If not, you can just run around and absolutely destroy people because you can pull up so quick. The next thing we're going to run is no stock, which is going to give us movement speed and aim down sight speed. Now we're going to lose some aiming stability and recoil control, but believe me, it's worth it to run this stock. You can absolutely just run around and snap on people very quickly. We're going to go with sleight of hand with this class because we're going to be running and gunning up close and personal. You want to be able to reload quickly. And last but not least, we're going to go with the stippled grip tape, which is going to give us even more ADS speed and sprint to fire speed, but a little loss in stability. As you can see, everything is in the green except the damage. You got a little bit on accuracy, a little bit on range, a little bit on fire rate, a little bit on mobility, and just a small little sliver on control. You also, if you wanted to drop this, you could always put a Ranger foregrip on here, which is going to 
knock that mobility down as you see, but bump everything else up and everything will still be in the green. I just prefer to have the stippled grip tape because this class is designed to be up close and personal and right in the enemy's face. Anyway, guys, leave me a comment. And let me know your thoughts on the MP7. Of course, if you have some different class setups you'd like to share down in the comments, you're more than welcome to do that. Also, guys, if you like the video, make sure you hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Click the bell icon in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you have a chance, share the video. It does help out the channel a lot. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.